Warmer weather has contributed to a burst of blooms. Cherry blossoms from D.C. to Georgia have bloomed a bit earlier than normal this year. Our Mike Seidel dives deep into the impact weather has had so far in the flowers this spring. The cherry trees in Washington went into peak bloom on Friday. That's about two and a half weeks early and the third earliest on record. Now, most of those trees in the Tidal Basin are Yoshino cherries, and it's the same tree I have here in my backyard. Mine went into peak bloom on Thursday, just the day before. I've had these trees for over 20 years. I've never seen that happen. Being this far south, they usually peak bloom at least two or three weeks earlier. There are two things that cause trees to leaf out and bloom in the springtime. One is the amount of daylight hours, and the other is weather, specifically the temperatures. Well, it's around the first day of spring, so the entire planet roughly has about 12 hours of daylight and darkness. So it has to be the weather, the temperatures. So I took a deeper dive into the stats at Reagan National Airport, which is just around the corner from the Tidal Basin. And look at this. Temperatures so far this month have been averaging about 8 degrees above where they should. But the key is the morning lows. By this point, they should have about six mornings at or below freezing since March 2nd. None of the mornings have gotten down to freezing, and most of the mornings have been very mild in the 40s and 50s. So it was the mild mornings plus enough sunny, warm afternoons in the 60s and 70s that got those Yoshino buds to burst into bloom late last week. And this is one of the best times of the year to put in a Yoshino cherry. You can plant them in most of the country. There are, however, limitations. First of all, if your winter temperatures drop to, say, 10 or even 20 below zero, it's too cold. Many areas of the West are too dry. They only need about five hours or more of direct sunlight to thrive. So put one in, and this time next year, you'll have these beautiful blooms in your backyard. I'm Mike Seidel, The Weather Channel. Who knew that Mike Seidel had a green thumb? But he does. 